One of the saddest things that I have experienced even in my own life and the life of those that I come in contact with daily is not that we don't believe in miracles. It's not that we don't believe that great things are possible. It's that we don't believe that they're possible for us. I don't believe that I am good enough or that I am deserving. I don't believe that I have the skill set or the capability of learning. Sure, I see it on Instagram for them. Sure, I see the YouTube video that shows them. Yes, I know someone who has experienced success, who has experienced um, blessing and are living abundant lives. But that's them. There's something different. There's something unique. There's something special that could not be the case for me. Why is that? Because I know me. I know the way I think. I know the thoughts that I have of myself. I know every failure. I know my headaches, my heartaches, my heartbreaks. I know my fears. I mean, I know that they can't be nearly as bad as I am. They can't think those thoughts that I think. So I believe success. I believe accomplishment, abundance. I believe that blessings are possible, but not for me, not someone who has gone through these traumas that I have, not someone whose first business or second business failed, not someone whose relationship is on the rocks, not someone whose child is wayward and doesn't value my opinion. I mean, I believe that there are great things on the horizon. I believe that anyone can be anything they want to be except me. I believe that, yes, the house, the car, the spouse, the amazing kids is possible, but not for me. Well, here's what I want to tell you. Every lie that you're telling yourself right now, that someone else is more capable, that they're more deserving, it is just that it is a lie. The good, great, and bad news is that you're the only person that you're with all day, every day. You're the only person whose opinion is known to you all day, every day. So I want to challenge you to maybe write down some of those opinions that you're having of yourself. Write down some of those false beliefs that you think are true for the outside world, but seem to be so false, seem to be such big lies about yourself. Do you believe that others can have a fulfilled marriage, but not you? Do you believe that others can have a dream job or own their own company or make $10,000, $100,000, or a million dollars a month, but not you? And then I want you to do the hard work of asking, why do I believe this? What proof do I have that says she's better than me, that he is more capable or more deserving, that their family is superior to mine? that their dreams can be validated while mine should not be. And here's what I'm going to encourage you with right now. You're not going to find any valid reasons why you can't be who you want to be, why you can't have what you want to have, why you cannot do the things that God placed in your head and in your heart. Because God is no respecter of persons, ladies and gentlemen. The same God that is helping them is the same God who's calling you and says, hey, I need you to have this thing called faith. And if you do that, here's what I know. We might not have everything that we want, but when we change what we believe, that what we have faith in, who we have faith in, then I just know for a fact that everything around us is going to change. It won't be long before you start believing that anything is possible for me, that abundance is in my future, that lack is a thing of the past, and I'm supposed to be generous, that I can have a loving family, that my environment and my friends and those that I impact are going to expand. So I hope that this little bit of encouragement is just what you needed on this day, because I want to remind you that I love you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average. Be world renowned. Peace.